Hello and welcome to the City Skylines Community uh, Challenge with me, Helena. And introducing, just kidding, you guys all know who he is, Community Manager, SimNation Jan. Welcome, Jan. Hi, uh, I've got the promotion just now. I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, Jan will be covering for Maddie while she is off for this week and next week and uh, probably sometime during the summer he'll be covering for us as well. He's been with us before and he's super anxious to take over Maddie's life one one you know job at a time so yep. this is one, one, one job at a time slowly we're getting yeah. there First yeah. community I'll ambassador sure. now i'm taking over the streams watch out <laughs> so maddie i imagine you're probably watching uh at home because you, you better, love city so, city so very very much uh so watch your back girl she, she better be watching because otherwise <laughs> i'm gonna have to make a meme about how maddie's no longer my best friend and now helen is my best friend and that just, you know, too much work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, work for me too. I feel like being your bestie would require quite a bit. Oh, not really. <laughs> no. <laughs> not really. Okay. We just Good. Okay. I like that. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. And uh, maybe the, the new bestie show will uh, be next week then. We'll see. But that being said, What's the theme for this week, Jan? So this week, we asked we asked yeah, yeah. you guys on Twitter and other platforms on what we should do or what I should do. And you guys decided to pick a ferry terminal or a ferry port, a ferry harbor, whatever you wish to call it. So now I have to build a ferry harbor. And I decided to do a tiny bit of cheating, sanctioned cheating, because what, what's, a fer, what's a ferry ter terminal without passengers and people? So we've loaded up the one of the previously used maps. I think this was the transport hub map that Maddie did. Um, yeah. So that we get a little bit of that kind of livelihood. But it's a ferry terminal. I've got an hour to build a ferry terminal. Yes. And if you are not someone who lives near uh, major waterways, can you explain what a ferry terminal is? So ferry terminals are kind of different things depending on where you are. Um, some cities use ferry terminals exclusively as just kind of like a water taxi type system or a water bus type system where you have little ferry terminals here and there and you can use the, uh, the, the ferry. There's just a passenger ferry to transport you around. I think New York is a good example of that. Other cities use ferry terminals I know. I thought ferry too. I thought ferry too. Smoking. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, other cities use ferry terminals as a car mover, truck mover, mm -hmm. whatever you wish to call it. Um, and uh, a lot of the the Croatian islands do that because they're islands. So you know you would, you drive on with your car. You sit there. Either sit there in your car or if the the. Uh, the ship has a, a, a passenger deck, go up to the passenger deck for the duration of the journey. And that's your way of getting across water instead of, you know, bridges, tunnels, things like that. Just a boat. Just go on a boat. But these are usually like public transport utilities. Um, I did notice also when I did some research, because I had to do some research, because I was like, a ferry terminal, that's not going to be interesting. It's just a big parking lot with a loading ramp. Um, that some of the most of, of the larger ones have kind of like a cruise ship dock on the side. So we're kind of doing some of that as well, because you can have like this international ferries. Um, there's a really nice one in between Stockholm and Tallinn, I think. Mm -hmm. I know my brother went on it. I do remember that much. And I got a mug. Um, and he said it's more of like a cruise ship type thing. So. Well, we're going we're gonna to meld all of that a little bit together using some vanilla assets, uh, some assets from the workshop. Um, we'll see how we're going to go. And I'm going to try. I'm going to try very, very hard to include one of the new stations from the um, train station pack. Ooh, exciting. Yeah, we had a lot of really great uh, waterway assets as well with the 
uh, bridges and piers. Are you planning to use anything from from those CCPs or from I, that CCP? I I think so. Okay. Um, but I, I will kind of see as we go. Um, mm -hmm. With city skylines, one of the things is you have a vision, and then that vision gets completely demolished when you start building. So <laughs> that's um, true, especially uh, when chat gets involved. I know, I know. And now there's Maddie in chat. Oh, good, she's here. Welcome, Maddie. And you know, you know, she's already intimidated. Yeah, clearly. Very. All right, are we ready to get started? Okay, Nurgle. Nurgle. Nurgle, where's my countdown? Tell me when. Tell me when. When you've started the timer. He said go. Oh, no. Yep. You've got oh, an hour, no. buddy. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> well, this is a um, hopeful start. If we're going to start with fairy. Um, and I'm not okay. going to find it. Okay, so one of the things that I really wanted to use is we had this mm -hmm. lovely asset that was made by Armesto. Um, it is a replica of the, uh, I think it's the ferry terminal in San Francisco, I want to say. Okay. Um, it was just a really nice asset, and I really wanted to use it and showcase it because we love Armesto, and Armesto is amazing, and um, he was very instrumental in the bridges and pierce pack, so I kind of wanted to start off with that, mm -hmm. um, kind of as a base terminal. And yeah. then and... Yep. I did... I did the thing, and I did another slightly cheaty thing. It's not really a cheaty thing, but it's also the stock new Stockholm ferry terminal. Ooh, okay. Which I thought was a very cool looking building. Um, so we figured I figured we'd do some sort of a like a hybrid, hybrid type thing. Um, so we're doing a bit of like a a hybrid. A, a fusion, a fusion of Ooh, new okay. and old. Cool. So it kind of gives us a, a, bit, a bit of everything. Um, the only problem is that this plot, plot that I've picked has a bit of an island on this side, so we're going to have to move everything over. Okay. Onto this side. Just height line it to that so that they're on the same kind of height. Okay. And then just keep going. Just going to keep going. Now, chat, I've done a lot of information searching on, on terminals and, and ferry terminals. What do you want to know? Because I can talk and play. You know, this is just kind of fun for me. So let's go. <laughs> Provide me challenges, uh, chat. Well, there are some challenges. Uh, Joshua Smith on YouTube asked, who decided that Maddie's vacation was so well-deserved? Did the community vote on it like we do her crown each week? Because he feels that it's not official. So you're going to have to live up to um, a pretty big crown, Jan. Do you think that uh, you will be able oh, to? I, yes, mostly because I have a better crown and I really want to wear it by the end of the stream. So we, All right. we're going we're gonna to get that going. We can. But yes, Maddie, Maddie did take a vacation. And it wasn't decided by the chat. It was decided by her new kittens. Yes. She's um, uh, at home with new kitty cat. Introducing yeah. to her uh, her current kitty cat. So, and, so that should uh, be clearly she's, she's home uh, hanging out and watching us as well. So you better do her, do her proud. So what so, are you doing now? So one of the things that I, that we kind of have to do is, even though this is a this this terminal in particular, is very, it, it it's kind of water sufficient or self sufficient. It has you know lovely piers and kind of water connectors, but there is a little bit where it's like it needs needs a connection. Um, okay. so I'm going to actually I'm going to lower it a little bit because it's a little bit high at the moment, but I want to get the kind of pier part of it going. So mm -hmm. we're going to do a little bit of terraforming. We're going to do a little bit of road work um, to kind of get that actual pier around it going. Um, the, the problem with these, uh, kind, these kind of items or with ter terminals in general is there's a lot of concrete because in effect they're kind of harbors. 
Um, so we're going to kind of have to keep that in mind. Okay. Um, but I do also want to introduce a little bit of that kind of new way of architecture, which is uh, adding in uh, or rather bringing nature back into the cities. Mm-hmm. Um, also, in, I absol- Maddie, I hate you for using this. Uh, f- why? Why this, Maddie? But why? Why? Why do you use what? this such? Why do you use this such, Maddie? <laughs> um. But that is yeah. This one is this one is a cruise ship terminal, so we're gonna kind of work together to make both work. I do want to. F- I I am going to find a way to bring in that. Um, kind of also a car ferry. So we're we're, we're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> Why do you judge me, Jen? It works perfectly. Yeah, Maddie has uh, has had her say. If you say so. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are just over five minutes in. Um, and do you feel like you've gotten a good amount done in those five minutes? I feel like I've got a good start. Okay. We we got the good. base done now. Now it's just a lot of minutia, in a way, mm-hmm. because uh, you know once you get the main building down, it's going to be a lot easier. So I I think I think we'll be okay. I'm going to expand this a little little tiny bit. Um. And... Yeah. I think oh. have... Go ahead. And it... In your streaming history, Jan, have you done like hour challenges like this uh, in the past? Not an hour challenge. I've mm-hmm. done. Yes, this is the same city as the way we were stuff, Maddie. Um, I've done like a stream, one stream challenge. So it's something that I would build in a stream. So in an hour mm-hmm. of stream, or well, four or five hours of stream. But I, I, <laughs> I never did a really big uh, challenge like this. So it's yeah. going to be interesting. It's kind of fun knowing that you have a, a time constraint. But at the same yeah. time, slightly stressful. It's all fun and games until there's like four minutes left, I feel. Like that's a usually yeah. when, when Maddie gets a wild look in her eye uh, and starts getting crazy with the tree. The tree yeah. bushes, so. Because trees fix everything. They do. So, uh, what are you doing now? So, so they they really really fix everything. So, I'm just going to um, pull these brush options out of the way. Um, I'm just going to level this terrain out so that we kind of fill in that gap in the in the center. Because while I built a road around, this kind of center bit is still empty. So, I just want to quickly fill it out so that we kind of mm-hmm. get that um, nice level ground going um clearly this has decided not to be level but we'll, we'll, we'll work on it we'll make it work um so we kind of get that clean fresh level underneath mm-hmm. um i do need to bring this terminal down a little bit because it's you can still see it's kind of floating um i'm just gonna Grab it. I'm gonna just look at that water flow. I know. So nice. Isn't uh, it lovely? Geraldine, yes. Geraldine Hart uh, on the YouTube chat says, "Hmm, quays the key sides uh, might be good look uh, with this if you have some good ones." And I know uh, that Armesto had a few. Yeah. We do. We have a bunch of lovely ones from Armesto that he made. Um, so we'll, we'll be looking at some of those and we'll be using some of those, um, kind of as the, the barrier here. Um, if we have time in the end, one of the things that I wanted to do is kind of pull out a, um, breakwater. Um, but I kind of want to really get this, this sorted out first. So, um, cause I thought it would be more fun. <laughs> nice. Um, we are actually going to look at some of the keys. 
because we do we do have a wide selection and i have a cruise ship oh nice so i figured you know we we have to use have to use her because look at her she's she's beautiful she is uh she is a beautiful oh she has a hella teleport pad on the back yeah but it's you know kind she's, of, she's re it's really big mm -hmm. um but i like it at the same time it has the um kind of the card loading deck in the back mm -hmm. um so i kind of want to utilize that as well so we're gonna try to to get roads into here. Um, the problem I'm having right now is because I have no kind of way to really connect the toll booth into it. Mm -hmm. We'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. Maybe there's enough yeah. space over here. Um, th this section of road is a bit quite a bit higher than the terminal itself. So we're gonna mm -hmm. have to do a little bit of an embankment, maybe get a little bit of stuff in. But we right. do have toll booths, and they come with the vanilla game. So, nice. um, rather, I think they come in one of the expansions. But we have we have lovely toll booths that we can use. So we kind of get that uh, look that we're going for. And it has to, it only has to be one way because technically you'd pay when you get on the boat, not when you get off the boat. Yeah, and you're getting off somewhere else anyway. So. Yeah. So we kind of have nice. these uh, little toll boots, which I think Maddie actually broke at some point. Oh, how does one break it? Um, I think one of the props used has been slightly has been removed, because if I remember mm -hmm. correctly, these are supposed to have roofs, but you know things happen when you are having fun. Mm -hmm. So we might just have to create kind of our own toll booth, um, okay? Because these are also they're a bit big. Uh, so we might just have to kind of do our own. Do it back. <laughs> I think I just destroyed one of the roads that we were using over here. Which, you know, that sounds like me. Uh, and we did. We're just going to take... Yeah, it's not going to... just going to straight up pull it all the way up here. There we go. Uh, I'm also going to quickly disable parking on these, um, because I don't want people to park on this road. That'd be weird. No, that was get car parking or not. Yeah, that um, work out. we already had some because I don't know how they got there, but they did. They tried very hard. Okay. Um, so let's get some of these, these keys in. I keep forgetting this is a... We also have a much larger kind of cargo, car ferry. Oh, um, yeah. Which this is, a, this is purely a car ferry. I think it even has... Does this look like it has a basketball up top? Court? Kind of does. Huh. Um... But this is like purely like a car transport, so it's not it's not really a ferry. I think this is like a commercial car transport. Oh, okay, so like uh, um, different car brands are shipping their cars from one yeah. location to another. Yeah. So I, I wasn't exactly a big fan of this one. Um, I still grabbed it mm -hmm. because I was like, eh, maybe we can take a look at it. Um, yeah. But it didn't it didn't really work. It doesn't really work. Now he, over here we have a huge selection of our. Uh, Bridges and piers from Armesto. So I kind of want to use some of those. Would we okay, do? let's do it. Um, we have simple seawalls. We have uh, fenceless seawalls. Uh, CD, like city keys, city like with and without fences, a bunch of ones with stairs, uh, various tiers. Um, but I, I thought we'd go with a, with a very, like, just a simple seawall. Mm. So we're going to go a simple, like, kind of fenceless key. Um, probably all the way around here. So kind of, it, it still gives us that little, like, key on the side, but also it's nice and concrete, so it's going to work out well. 
what our progress is. Just going to lower it down and go from there. Uh, I don't want segments. Just give me nodes. Nodes game, I need nodes. If you guys don't Our... use Move It, Move It is an essential. If if you've never used Move It and you don't use mods and you kind of still want really are a fan of that vanilla experience, I very highly suggest that if you are going to go with one mod, go with Move It. Um because it allows you to do so much more just by being a fairly simple mod. Mm -hmm. But it allows you, because it allows you to select things, it allows you to move them, add them, things like that. It just, it makes it so much easier to operate and work on things. So I, I, I highly suggest uh, Move It, which Move It has up and down <laughs> keys, which I think mm -hmm. Maddie's remapped. So I need to look. Yeah. <laughs> I need to look. All right. So, Maddie, if you're watching and you come back in a couple weeks and everything's messed up, uh, you know who she, to blame. They, she moved them to T and G. Oh, she, she works so hard to get the keys just the way she wants them. And, and you're yeah, just well, destroying all that. She's not here. And I am. <laughs> and I have to build. It's true. So, we're just going to uh, change them. Those are the only two I've changed. Um, and then she also moved undo on me. Hmm. So how is the experience playing cities on, like, not your computer that has everything set up the way you would like it? Um, it's okay. My biggest problem is that it's just the keys that are a little bit different. But other than mm -hmm. that, it, it, it's kind of, honestly, I am, because I am a horrible human being who's obsessed with City Skylines, um, I use, personally, on my game, I think at the moment I have like 16,000 assets, something like that. No, mm -hmm. 16, 17,000 subscriber assets from the workshop. So it's kind of refreshing to work with, van well, mostly vanilla. Mm -hmm. Because I don't get to do it too often. Obviously, we did do light modded, but yeah. it it's not the same. Mm -hmm. So it's it's kind of it's kind of fun having this experience of working uh, with something a little bit different than usual. Nice. So I, I'm enjoying myself. Okay, good. And that's not something <laughs> I say. <often. laughs> Uh, Salmon of Knowledge on uh, Twitch says that that is a big boat. So. It is a big boat. It, it's a very big boat. But it's a boat that um, I think something like this is used. It's kind of the Nordic countries tend to use uh, bigger boats like this to uh, traverse around. So it's kind of appropriate, I feel. Um, at least, at least for one of them, kind of. Mm -hmm. I guess it kind of gives us both that kind of ferry and boat hardware thing that we were looking for, mm -hmm. or that we were talking about at the the start of the stream. So, I kind of, I, I, I like. It. I think we're gonna gonna have a lot of fun. Oh, there's still a. God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> I missed one. Uh oh. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be. It's a. It, it is a big boat, though. Mm -hmm. And we are. We are gonna make sure that it. Um. Fits. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing now? Well, I'm trying to get everything on a level, and I noticed mm -hmm. just now that it's really not. So I'm just gonna because this is an easy fix with move it. I'm going to select all the nodes that we used here. So all the nodes for the seawalls, all the nodes for the roads. I'm just going to uh, make sure that they are all high enough. Or that they're all kind of on the same 
level. I should actually not do the... I think keys are in the other one. I don't remember anymore. I'm just gonna get the roads sorted first and then we'll make sure that the keys are the right. There we go. Now all the roads are kind of on the same level and it just gives us a nice flat surface. We've got the key in, which was the important bit. Um, so now we're just gonna, I'm gonna do some terraforming so that we kind of get rid of this um, ground on the side because obviously you kind of want a straight um, flowing thing. So mm -hmm. just gonna do a little bit of, a little bit of terraforming. I hate doing terraforming. Terraforming is one of my least favorite activities. But um, what, what makes it your least favorite? Uh, because it's just so, for me, it's way too easy to ruin something. Mm -hmm. So I kind of have to, I'm one of those people that has to be very careful with terraforming because I will destroy, destroy whatever I'm working on just by accident. I'll just look at it and it won't be right anymore. So I kind of have to be a little bit careful with terraforming. I get overzealous mm -hmm. if that is a word we, we... Overzealous is a good word to describe my terraforming. Okay. You're an overzealous terraformer. Yeah. I mean, I guess there's worse problems you could, you could uh, claim. There's, there's a lot of worse problems I could claim. But overzealous terraformer is one of them. <laughs> um... So kind of got this going. I'm just going to extend this pier kind of this way in the round so that it kind of has this nice thing going on. What mm -hmm. is this called? A nice curve. <laughs> so we are just past 20 minutes in. So there's just under 40 minutes left. How is it feeling so far? I think, um, I think it's going to be okay. <laughs> you can tell that I also think I'm lying because my voice has gone really high pitched. Yeah, I wasn't going to point it out, but I definitely thought it. <laughs> but I think we're going to be fine because my biggest issue with this is getting the roads and the, the piers in mm -hmm. just so that they look nice, which can be a bit difficult. Um, and then I feel like once we get those kind of in place, it's just a lot of detailing, and detailing mm -hmm. is something that I love to do. So I think after that, we'll kind of be okay. <laughs> uh, Noah Gravity on Twitch chat says, I think we're going to be fine. Famous last words. So I don't think uh, Noah has too much uh, faith in you, but Noah, we'll, Noah we'll see if we can turn that doesn't have faith in my skill. And Noah, I, I don't think we're going to be friends anymore. <laughs> I don't know who you are. I have never met you. But I don't think we can be friends. No. And so are you you're continuing to terraform? Yeah, just a little bit over here so that we get like again kind of get rid of that over spillage of soil that happens because the road pushes soil up. Okay. Um because I'm forcing it to be at ground level, which it doesn't quite like. So I kind of just have to give it a little bit of a nudge here and there to um, make sure that we get a nice flat, even surface. Even though over here, for some reason, it has decided it doesn't particularly want it. And I think I know why. Because this key extends way too far in. And, and so it kind of pulls that ground up a bit. Ah, okay. Oh, Noah Gravity comes back with, actually, Jan, we met... Uh... Briefly for two minutes on uh, New Year's Eve uh, on Discord. So yeah. you may not remember, but I do. <laughs> Which New Year's Eve? I, I am not sure. Which New Year's Eve was this? Well, you know, people tend to celebrate on New Year's Eve, so it might be that, uh, you know, sometimes your recollections are not maybe as sharp as they could be. My recollection, A, my recollections are never, never sharp. 2020? <laughs> did I hang, oh, I think I did hang out in, in, in one of the discords and, like then. 
2020 into 2021. I don't, I, I mean, it's entirely possible. I yeah. just remember that that was a night of celebration. Yeah. And it sounds like you were being very responsible, uh, celebrating at home during a pandemic. So good job. I always celebrate at home. Um, New Year's Eve is one of those things. I'm, I'm not very big into going out, mm. especially on New Year's, because it tends to just get insane. I think wherever mm. you are, no matter what country you live in, New Year's just goes insane. So um, I don't, I don't particularly enjoy doing it. Just uh, <laughs> and uh, Max Earl says, "I love your new beard, Maddie." Um, <laughs> yeah, Max, I'm trying something new. I thought <laughs> I'd try something new this year. You know, New Year, New Me. Yeah. So um, yeah, we're just. Uh, just under 35 minutes uh, left. So I will let the the crowd know. If you've recently just joined us and you wonder what is going on, this is all so new and different. Here is the sitch. Uh, Maddie's on vacation, well-earned vacation. She'll be gone this week and next week. So we have our community ambassador, also known as Sim Nation Jan, covering for her uh, doing the actual city building. Um, and this week's theme is a ferry harbor. So like those boats that transport people and vehicles and goods uh, from one location to another. Uh, so this is a harbor that's dedicated to uh, ferries. So that is what's going on. That is why it does not look like Maddie's here because she's not, but she uh, is watching. She has made her presence known. She's here in spirit. And, yes, uh, and, definitely here in spirit. And that spirit is the spirit of evil. <laughs> oh. She has already already invested my skills. And I'm feeling very betrayed. And very <laughs> sad. So yeah, if you just joined us, uh you might see a a, a breakdown pretty soon. Uh, clearly someone's uh going through some emotional issues and and that is okay. I breakdowns are a natural part of being <laughs> I'm feeling Indeed. very attacked right now. Yeah. All right. I'm actually doing okay. I yeah. uh, this is this is trying to find the the spot for this thing for some reason is just not not working for me today. Yeah. That happens. And that makes me sad. It just I, I like that we were talking about New Year's just recently and now there's fireworks going on, so that's very appropriate. Uh yes. just because we are <laughs> using um, Maddie's old city, and I think she had some fireworks set up somewhere. Nice. Um, or it might be from the uh, the the theme park. Hmm. Um, just dude on YouTube chat said, at the start, I was like, what in the world is he going to do with those huge buildings? But it's starting to look really awesome. Yeah, so well, have... a lot of a lot of city scanners is taking something that you have available, but don't necessarily think it will work, mm -hmm. um, and trying to make it work. That's part of the fun for me, um, especially with these buildings because these buildings are actual representatives of real life structures that are used for these things. Um, so it kind of works well in that regard um it kind of gives us that little bit of uh real life influence mm -hmm. into the system itself um so this big building for example is i'm i'm just quickly going to disable day night cycle and switch it to like midday because it's gonna be easier for everyone um this big building is the San Francisco ferry ter terminal. This this kind of new addition is the new um, Stockholm <laughs> city. I for some reason couldn't remember the name. Um, the new kind of it's a new Stockholm uh, ferry terminal. So I kind of wanted to incorporate those in. Um, mm -hmm. And then now we've got the piers up and running, which is a fantastic fantastic news to everyone involved because it means that at least part of our job is done 
Um, even though I just noticed that these, I don't, they aren't, they aren't straight. Yeah. There we go. Um, so we kind of got that that main pit going on. I one of the things that I do want to do is because City Skylines does actually support boat transit. It does actually support uh, ferry transit. Um, so I wanted to see what we can do using uh, inbuilt ferries as well. I also have another ship. I have a lot of ships for some reason. Um, Is that the same as the one on the other yeah, side? But this, this one has closed yeah. doors. Oh. No difference. Um, okay. So I kind of wanted to see what we could do with... Uh, the game fairy pairs and the game does have fairy pairs so this for example is one of the default ones it's one of the larger ones um, mm -hmm. and I did want to kind of integrate it in so I figured if we get um, these ones in kind of along the way we can kind of make it a bit more um, exciting I suppose um, cool so we're kind of going to kind of do a little bit of that. I am over here being slightly naughty. Um, what? I know. How dare I? Um, because our roads over here, I'm going to overlap our road over the game road, although I think it tried to connect itself. Um, but just kind of hide it. Mm -hmm. Um, make it kind of, because the 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 ferry terminal itself comes with a road, so it it, it it's a little bit problematic, but but it's fine. Um, I don't know if she ha if we have touched this on on, so I can't exactly say oh we're just going to replace it, um, mm -hmm. but we do kind of have that available. One of the things that I also did grab, because I thought it'd be fun, is uh, tugboats. Oh. Because they're, they're adorable, and they're tugboats. Um, which I think actually count as buildings. Um, so I was gonna um, I was gonna send tugboats in. Because, you know, you need tugboats. So I'm just gonna make it look mm -hmm. like this ship was um, tugged in. Um, but I, I, I thought, I thought, you know what, why not, why not make it look like the big giant ship had needed some help getting into the right position because it would. We we'll get that going. There we go. So now we have that kind of little bit of a typo. Um, what we are kind of missing here, um, mm -hmm. is a little bit of an like extension to this pier on this side. So luckily. I thought ahead, um, and I grabbed some uh, kind of very simple wooden docks from, mm -hmm. I want to say they're Ronnie, I think they're Ronix docks, um, so just kind of kind of give it a little bit of like that wooden Basically adding like a, a, an extra wooden pier next to the normal pier. Obviously, I'm not going to mm -hmm. connect all of these up to... Um, I'm not going to connect all of these up to a ferry network because that... would be a bit overkill. There'd be a lot of ferries going around. Mm -hmm. But I am going to... Uh, add them into this corner as kind of decoration pieces, I suppose, is, is the way to, to use them. Decorate... Not everything you put has to be useful. Sometimes you just want to do things because they look pretty. Yeah. Um, and, and you have to, because pretty things are important. Absolutely. Normally, I would use procedural objects also to get them um, non-building building, but I mm -hmm. don't feel like messing with it too much right now. Procedural object, objects can take a while to get set up uh, properly, so we're just going to use, move it, and we'll just add them in um, 
manually like this. It it's not going to look bad either way. Mm -hmm. It just if we used procedural objects, it would allow us a little bit more flexibility. Um, but that's all right. Just going nice. to select these two, copy them out again, and kind of create an extra pier over here that we normally wouldn't have. So it kind of gives us that impression of a smaller. Mm -hmm. This is the keyboard's also in uh, English, or I, I think it's a Swedish yeah. keyboard. So mm -hmm. Y and Z are, are rotated. Okay. I'm used to them in different positions, so I keep hitting the wrong buttons. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got a little ferry ter terminal here. I am going to put a small ferry terminal over here. Um, on this island that Maddie has going on here. It's called the Experience. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just going to put... I don't, how do these people drive here? How do you make that work? Magic, um, hopes and dreams. Probably. But I'm going to put uh, one, uh, like a, a quick small ferry terminal here. I know Maddie wouldn't approve because I'm going to be slightly destroying her work, but, you know. Sacrifices have to be made. Um, he knows where, where you live. She'll come after you. She will always come after me. And then we're going to take this. <laughs> Cuboid says, complaining about keyboard shortcuts. It's like Maddie never left. Back. The facts. <laughs> yeah. You can't argue with facts. No. So I created a small uh, kind of ferry path. Cool. Uh, just so and now those get it going. And now those poor people can finally leave the experience. Yeah, they don't have to stay there. <laughs> Maddie, I fixed the hotkeys. Don't you worry. I did. I adjusted the hotkeys. Um, for the most part. Hmm. But some things just weren't possible. I I didn't notice that uh, the keyboard was in not my language until it was too late. <laughs> um, so this particular building is just is it just a just a dock or mm -hmm. rather a, a harbor, uh, kind of a ferry harbor? So. Just going to quickly slot it in here so we can actually get ferries going. And then I think we're going to have to start moving towards uh, getting some more details going because I have a feeling we're slowly running out of time. Yeah, we are just over 20 minutes left. So 20 minutes? Oh, that's what I yeah, have. you've got a good amount of time. We're halfway there and we're living on a prayer. <laughs> To slot this a little bit down, so it kind of molds in. And how would you say that your uh, your gameplay style, that you like the way you normally play City Skylines, uh, how how does it affect how you're playing now when it's uh, you know a very limited amount of time, a very specific uh, task? It's just a lot less thinking. And more doing. Okay. Um, because I normally like to overthink. So kind of having um going to add the two vehicles to this. Um Oh, I need to need to connect them. Um, I, well, normally, I overthink and I research and research and research endlessly, mm -hmm. which then leads to one million alterations of everything. So here, it's just a little bit more focused on getting things done rather than 
necessarily um waiting as much yes so here we have um, our first we have a passenger ferry yay <laughs> nice little passenger ferry this is this is, would be one of those smaller ferries we were talking about which are passenger yeah. only um so it's just gonna just gonna traverse from here to over here but mm -hmm. at least it'll give us a little bit of a little bit of actual traffic that we normally nice have. Uh, Yenta's Grease Noose uh, asks, uh, trees, Maddie always puts trees everywhere. Are you planning to do trees anywhere? We talked about this a little bit at the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, we do actually have a little ferry prop as well from Mass Transit. It's decided to be underwater, but we have it. Um, we talked oh, a little bit I about mean... this earlier, mm -hmm. but Yes, I will add some trees in. However, I'm not going to go as, as crazy as Maddie does with trees. Because it's not really feasible. I'm going to just, just going to put this little cute, adorable fairy over here. A sunk fairy would be cool. I agree. <laughs> but at the same time, I, I really don't want to sink a ferry. <laughs> no, it, it might also not look so nice uh, for the, um, yeah, the it, screenshots it, that we take. <laughs> it, it, it's kind of difficult uh, also getting things like that going because I don't have all the props that I normally would have. Mm -hmm. So normally I would think about, oh, I want a sunken ferry. Or, whatever we decided to do, and then I would um, find an asset, and if there were, or if there wasn't one, I'd consider making one. But I don't have time for those things today. No. So No, you have under 20 minutes. I have under 20 minutes, and now I'm just going to have to... I have to really, really get going here. Um, I kind of like the look of the main terminal. I mean, it, it needs a little bit of love um, when it comes to the decorations part, which is going to very yeah. quickly get, or at least try to get the um, the connection here established with the roads. Mm -hmm. um, although it's going to be slightly difficult because I, I didn't exactly pick a good spot for this side of the terminal. Um, so it's going to be a little bit challenging, but we can do it. I believe in us. Yeah, I, I like that you're adding me and the chat in in the project that you have undertaken. I like yes. that. I have to believe in all of us, because if I only try to believe in self, in myself, it's probably gonna end well. Oh. Um, can it be Clown Cruise? It says its name is Celia Europa, Thomas Haven. So, so I imagine if a bunch of clowns were to book passage on that cruise boat, it would then become a clown cruise. So, yeah, and we don't need that many people for a bunch for a bunch of clowns. We just need like me, Nax, and Maddie. Um, I think this, this, this will work. This, this, it, the problem with making this as well is that we kind of forgot about it a little bit. Okay. So I kind of did the, the thing with keys over here that I might need to demolish. But we'll get it working. Um... So what are you doing right now? I am going to have to... Well, I'm, I'm not really demolishing anything. Uh, I'm just slightly modifying the keys so that we get kind of a, a bit of an extension this way. Um, and then I'm going to get some roads going so that we get... Um, uh, the... So we kind of 
can get roads down here into into this uh shipity ship ship ship. <laughs> ship. Um kinda need for some reason on keys on, on most nodes it's really easy to select the nodes, but for the keys it's always such a pain getting it just right. Why do you think that is? I think it's just because the ways key, the keys are, it just makes it different. Mm -hmm. um, but you kind of get get used to. Um, so certain nodes have always been like a curse and a blessing. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's just just the way the game works. Mm -hmm. And uh, Noxerol says, to be fair, if it is a clown cruise, they don't need that much car space since they would all fit in one car. So that you is, don't have to worry. That is true. However, it's also not a car cruise. <laughs> well, I guess it would um, depend on who books. Um, who books uh, the passage. Well. Uh, I, I I suppose so. that is a valid point. Mm. I'm gonna try to get this. This key isn't cooperating. <laughs> oh. It's an uncooperating key. And I don't know why. I have no idea. It it, it refuses to be turned the correct way. So it's it's is it, facing is inward. The the way? No keys just do that sometimes. They're very mm -hmm. difficult to control and make sure that they face the correct way. Um, so I, that's why I don't necessarily always want to work with them. Mm -hmm. But one of the things I can do is I can select it with move it, just rotate it. There you go. Um, to kind of get it in the, in the position I want. Although I think it's still refusing. Oh, there we go. Nope, it's nope. it still refuses. <laughs> oh man. You and me are gonna have some talks keys. Kat is suggesting that it's protesting because uh you said no clowns. Um I didn't say no to clowns. I said Did I say no to clowns? Uh yes, you did. This key is gonna be the end of me. Don't don't let the key define you. I mean, you still have the possibility of getting that crown. So, um, and you have uh, a little over twelve minutes. Twelve minutes. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so I'm starting to panic slightly. It's it's fine. We'll get it going. Yeah, and your voice didn't raise up this time, so I feel like uh, you're a bit more optimistic than you were last time when you said it was fine. I am entirely and I am entirely confident in my abilities. <laughs> I am determined to win that crown. All right. I'm just gonna try the the standard key. Maybe that one's gonna. No, it's still not. It doesn't want to cooperate, and I don't know why. That's annoying. What are you going to do? I am not entirely sure. <laughs> haven't determined that yet. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use this Japanese breakwater, um, which is, it's, it's a little bit, I don't remember what, what segment it even falls under, my refenses. Um, I'm going to use this Japanese breakwater. It's, it's a little bit different. It's not exactly a key, mm -hmm. but it does, does the trick. So it still kind of creates the illusion, shall we say? Mm -hmm. um, but it's not it's not a proper key, which isn't isn't exactly the same. But it's gonna still give me that wall over here that I'm looking for. Okay. Um, I'm also on this key here. I'm just going to move it slightly further in because I don't think we need quite as long a terminal. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just going to. Just need to cheat, cheat it. That way we have the loveliness, and then we're gonna do the same thing I did on the other side with the road, so that I could get that kind of mm -hmm. nice um, 
angle going. I'm trying to make sure that this angle works. It might work. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this. For some reason, it really wants to connect over here. Um, okay. I'm going to use this road, which is a just a standard road of some description. And to lower mm -hmm. it down here at the end. Just a little bit so it falls under the key. Yes. Move it backwards. Yes. And uh. now we have a now we have a, a a kind of road leading up to the boaty boat. Yes. Max Earl says that Maddie does last minute uh panic trees. Jan, however, does last minute panic keys. Accurate. If I didn't know you, Nax, I <laughs> would be slightly sad, but I know you and I know that is the best joke you will tell for a while, so I'll allow it. <laughs> we we are starting to get that last minute minute panic in though, so um well, we would but I, I gotta I gotta I gotta get it I gotta get it working. This it's gotta be perfect. Um <laughs> I wish I had proper time to to detail this a little bit more, but mm -hmm. sadly I don't. Um, but I am going. I'm still going to connect this key up to here. Um, yeah, I, I wish I had a little bit more time over here to to detail this boat. This this boat. Um, but like I said, sadly, sadly, I, I gotta. Yeah, it's the Russian now. Or <laughs> I'm gonna wow. run way out of time. Yeah, we got uh, around nine minutes left. Um, but yeah, it 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 works. It works for mm -hmm. our purposes. Um, for some reason, it decided to park cars here again, which I I'm I'm going to lose my mind. I swear to God. I mean, if you could go ahead and not lose your mind until after uh, the hour's over, I think that would be for the best. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll I'll do my best. Thank you. Um, so we kind of got this this kind of main section going. We've got a little boat here. Um, mm -hmm. There is. I wanna. I'm going to. I forget where it is because they moved my things. Um. Uh, there's a pedestrian path that I want to really quickly throw in here if I can find it. But yes. I don't think I, I'll be able to find it. Because um, I don't remember where the pedestrian paths are anymore. Oh, here they are. Um, Less than eight minutes to go. No, I got this. It's fine. I got mm -hmm. this. Um, just going to force this into. See, I forgot. Well, what are you building now? I forgot I had this. Um, I'm going to very quickly uh, try to get what I wanted to get a connection in between this big boat and the, um, the pier itself. And mm -hmm. I thought I had a um, a uh, thingy for it, but apparently I don't. That <laughs> makes me very sad. I also thought that this would have had... Um, because it's 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 a pier. It would have fences. Does it have a fence? <laughs> it has fences. We're good. We're good. We sell. Oh. <laughs> and uh, just so you're aware, Maddie has said that if there are no trees, she will be marking lower when she gets her score. Um. I. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. We will get some trees in. I will work very hard to get some trees in. I will get them in in several seconds. Mm -hmm. Doing my best, Maddie. Okay. Well, if anything, this is a really good learning experience to see like the hard, how hard it is to uh, to build something in an hour, uh, while multiple chats are uh, sharing their their thoughts and opinions and distracting you in every yes. possible way. That's the best part. So yeah, we're just gonna, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna copy this one. 
um, two over like, in the backside. So there's kind of another mm -hmm. connector back here. But um, so we kind of got that. Eh, maybe another one at the end. Another one in the middle. Um, okay. Chat wanted trees. So I guess it's yeah. tree time. Tree time. Tree time in the last five minutes. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Um, do we have any planters that I can use that aren't crap? <laughs> what are you talking about? All of the planters are amazing and beautiful. It, it's it's fine. I can I can do this. You can do this. Okay. Uh, You've got the power. I got power. Connect this to the ground, and now, now we just need a tree. I need a tree. Do we ch ch chat? I need the tree name. <laughs> what All kind right, of tree do you like? What birch. kind of trees should should we be adding? We don't have birch trees, apparently. Uh, big redwoods. Okay, we're not birch. doing big, big redwoods because they don't. Redwoods. Big redwoods. <laughs> Purple trees. Uh, okay, Ch Ch chat. Now we're just being ridiculous. I'm just gonna do my own trees. <laughs> Just do your own trees. Cacti. Trees, please. Vanilla tree with leaves, number two. You would, I think you know how I feel about vanilla trees, and now you're just intentionally trying to make me... Happy? Excellent. I decided not to use... I didn't build, go with vanilla trees, too, but, you know. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, magnolias, like a small park. Oh, I do love magnolias, though. Magnolias mm -hmm. are, I, I have to admit, magnolias are one of my favorite trees. Mm -hmm. um, I just don't necessarily. I don't think I have them, which is a problem. Mm -hmm. Because obviously, with. Like, like I said, I'm not using my standard collection. No. Um, so we're, we're kind of limited on what we have. Uh, yeah. So it kind of doesn't, doesn't, doesn't quite allow me to do a huge extent of uh, nature objects, but because obviously, normally we would have Delmos trees. Um, you know, we would have Delmos trees. We would have uh, trees from uh, Mr. Mason, um, Miyagi, things like that. So we would we would have a much wider selection. I think these trees over here are dead. Uh, Maddie's um, saying two minutes left. Focus. I am Alchemist. <laughs> I'm focusing as hard as I can. Alchemist okay. Xavier says, oh, how beautiful. Thank you. Yes. I'm trying very hard. Good, good. Yeah. I'm trying to get this tree on top of this building. I'm now going to spend the rest of this minute getting mm -hmm. one purple tree on top of a building. That cool. where it will not want to go, apparently. Because mm -hmm. I don't think we have proper tree anarchy. Well, the, we the cops are anarchy. there. So you've definitely made an impression. I've always made it. Yeah. yeah, we have the cops. We, ha we have the cops. That can be the, the flashing lights uh, some people in chat are saying uh, are necessary for uh, fairy peers. I, I think we've we're, we're slowly running out of time. I think we've run we out are. of time. The, one minute, just about. Just about a minute left. Will this work? Yeah. Will this work, oh, chat? Oh. Did we do it? Did we do it, chat? 
I think we one did. minute. Yep. No, we've got it. We've still got a minute. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. We can do this. I can. I can. I can. I can do this. Yeah. More what trees. about life lifeguards and buoys? You could always add those. So many options that are just coming. Uh, now, becoming... now you're to giving me suggestions, that. chat. Now you, now you're being helpful. Mm -hmm. Forty. I'm just waiting for Nurgle to slowly, like, just take away my control of the game. No, no, we can't. He won't do that. Twenty seconds. You can do this. I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't think we can do anything in twenty seconds. <laughs> Nothing that I can think of. Okay. 10 seconds. So I, I think we're just going to... I, I think we're going to just call it. I think we're going right. to call it. I think if we, we had a little bit more time, it would have been fine. We spend a lot of time talking I... and not doing stuff, so... <laughs> yeah, that is a... a... Loud horn. Uh, a, Loud horn. A balance issue. Like, uh, less talk, more work. Yeah. How does yeah. it... Now that you've now that you have put yourself in in Maddie's uh, computer chair, so to speak, uh, doing the hard work that she does every week, uh, how was it for you? I actually enjoyed it. it it's fun. Mm -hmm. um, it, it was different because I've never really built a ferry terminal, so it was very it was a, it was a different challenge. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's all, part of the challenge was also just not having my all my usual things mm -hmm. but i think it it turned out well i think it looks good okay i i am personally with personally happy with it good what what did you learn in this in this block of time that uh, will help you when you play again next week uh that i still hate keys <laughs> okay that the keys the keys are the pain of my existence Okay, and what part of this is like your your but proud point, like the proudest I, part of this? I don't really think I have the proudest. I'm just, I'm just happy with all of it. Okay. Honestly, this angle, this, this angle we're showing right now, I think mm -hmm. this is definitely, this is definitely my favorite bit of it. Mm hmm. Um. I mean, in normal, I would use fewer trees, but you know. I got to score at least some points yeah. with Maddie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I, 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 I really like I, I, this, this angle, I think, works, works really well to kind of show it off. Because mm -hmm. we, uh, A, we build on a, um, we, how, how, we, how we do this when Maddie's not doing it. Is basically I'm remote accessing the the computer in the office and then playing. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of it's it, it's a little bit different, a little bit more mm -hmm. difficult, but it's it was still it's still incredibly fun. I I think it turned out well. Um, I I did I did end up expanding on the on the on the on the theme a little bit by adding the cruise terminal, but mm -hmm. I think I think it looks much better than if I didn't. I I'm quite happy with the way it turned out. Oh, good. And now I'm going to guess that the hardest, the most difficult part for you was dealing with the key. Is that correct? Or yeah, was there the, something else? The keys kind of didn't help. Mm -hmm. um, they are beautiful and Armeso did a wonderful job with them. Um, but because of the way I play Skylines, which is usually very detail oriented and I kind of seek the perfection it they can be a little bit fiddly for me but absolutely um, if i had you know a, a, another hour or if i if this wasn't one of my regular streams that they used to do which was mm -hmm. you know then it would have been different but yeah I, i'm quite happy with it there's there's a couple of things that i would have done differently but overall i think it's good good so you definitely feel like you can come back next week and uh and try again I am I am definitely coming back next week and trying again. Yay! I the, I don't know what what chat is gonna want. I we did yeah. see that, that wine country did very well, and okay. honestly, I'm kind of down for building a chateau with some vineyards. <laughs> that well, maybe we'll put that back in uh, next week's uh, voting as well. Then 
Uh, let's take a look and see what chat. Uh, what do you say, chat? Did they win? Not... Did I win? Yeah. Whether you get the crown. Did, uh, did me and Chirpy win a crown? As always, uh, please, out of 10, rate uh, Jan's Fairy Harbor. Uh, one being like it was terrible, 10 being it was exceptional. And I will start reading out uh, what our, our chat has to say. Um, 10 Next out of 10? 6 out saying... of 10? Oof. Next is saying doing a challenge Maddie did before and compare. Yes, um, I like I like the integration of old cool ferry building with cruise terminal uh, and ferry dock. So eight out of ten, nine out of ten, nine out of ten, nine point five out of ten. Yes, Jan needs the crown. Nine out of ten. Uh, eight out of ten. Nine out of ten. Eight out of ten. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Not enough clowns. Nine out of ten. Seven but out of how ten. How do we know there's no clowns just yeah. hidden in one of the one of the one of the cars or in one of the ships? Uh, Biffa joined to say it needs a fairy about. A fairy uh, about. Biffa, I want to know. Biffa, I want to challenge you to sh to build me and show me what a fairy about is. Ooh, shots fired. Um, I think it's and if just you like haven't, a fairy going around in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, seven, seven out of ten, no water trees, and still a lack of clowns. Uh, oh, and Biffa said, "Already done, my friend." Uh, could have more detail on the pier. Six and a half out of ten. Yeah, could yeah. have more detail. I agree. Let's find a. Let's find a clown. Are there clowns in 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 the here? I, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Otherwise, Nurgle probably has a picture of Maddie somewhere he can put up. Oh, hardy har har. Um, nine out of ten. Seven out of ten. So I think looking through these uh, numbers, it looks like you can go ahead and place the crown upon your head. I want a crown. Look at Congratulations. this. Congratulations. <laughs> Gorgeous. Oh, Amazing. I'd like to thank the Academy. <laughs> you must love me. You must really love me. I don't have a... I, don't I feel like I need a, a trophy. Wait. I'm gonna... Yeah. Where's your you must Chirpy? Love me. Oh, where is Chirpy? Oh, here he is. Me and Chirpy say thank you. I'm gonna, gonna sit over here in the crown now. Oh, very, very cute. Now, you are wearing a crown. With Chirpy, who's also wearing a crown, which is... Who just nice. flew off somewhere. I don't know where... <laughs> oh, here he is. I found him. I found him. I got Chirpy back. <laughs> uh, Maddie crown says, you need enough. a trophy too? <laughs> yes, Maddie. You've had two years of practice doing these. And I've done just as good in in doing it first time. Chirpy oh. keeps flying off my head. Yes. I All don't right. want to be there. I'm just going to... Well, I think he feels like... He's taking away from uh, your big win by uh, inserting yeah. himself. So, for a change, he's not on my headset because he fell off, and I couldn't find the beside tip. Yep. Yay! So, yep. Chat's very proud of you, and uh... let some of detailers have a go against some of us. Yeah. Me and Maddie like to pride, pride ourselves that we are detailers, and normally we are. Um. Uh, However, we're trying to keep it more vanilla, so we use a very limited amount of assets. Did I get the crown for this, or did I already own it? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. I bought the crown for this. I ordered it on Friday, it arrived yesterday, and I was very happy. I can uh, vouch for that. He sent me a very excited picture of it yesterday. I was very excited. But, you know, because we got to represent, just make sure to join us next week. Yes, next week, uh, Jan will be with us again, doing a new exciting challenge in an hour. And we'll see if we can get, uh, get, stump him a little bit harder, because clearly uh, he, he scored pretty well with this one. So yep. I'm sure uh, you're... We'll see. I, I'm very excited. Good. I'm sure your BFF will have lots of feedback uh, that she'll be giving you privately. 
Jen, chirpy oh, mug yeah. when? I have a chirpy mug. What are you on about? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Chirpy mug. Chirpy mug. Yes. Chirpy mug. All right. Uh, <laughs> so we are looking forward to next week, and <laughs> we wish everyone an exceptionally awesome uh, rest of the week. And I don't believe Surviving the Aftermath will be uh, after this, so enjoy the rest of your day, and... It has a double oh. pearl. It actually really fits well. Yeah. Into... It, yeah, now my my pearls are sad. Yeah. They feel yeah. like you are trying to outshine them. Aftermath will be back next week. Yes. This week. Okay. No. But we are so... also back next week. Join us again at yes. uh, 3 p.m. Central European Standard Time. Right here. Summertime. Yeah. Summertime. I just... <sighs> Time zones. Yeah, man. They're the worst. Um, <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed it. And yes. if you don't come by next week, come by later in the summer. I might be back. Who knows? Maybe Maddie will have to get more kittens. I should just start shipping Maddie kittens. That is a possibility, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, Jan. This has been super fun. And thank you, Chat, as always. Your comments and uh, ideas are inspiring and amusing. And we will see you next week. Bye.